Hello guys, welcome back to the Wesleys. Thank you guys so much for coming here to watch this video. In today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I'm going to be doing with scrap or leftover fabric from t-shirts that I was gonna send out to customers, but they do have some blemishes. So today I'm going to be sublimating these scrap t-shirts. Some of you guys probably know we do sell sublimation blank t-shirts. And before we send out our blank t-shirts, we always do a quality check. There's all these t-shirts plus a lot more stacked up in the back that I have to wash and then check and see if there's still spots. And if there are still spots, I will be repurposing them and making scrunchies out of them. So I wanted to take you guys along as I make custom one of a kind scrunchies. So I will be making my own print. So as you can see on this one, this is a scrunchie that I made for Selena. It has her YouTube channel on it and her name. And today we'll be making random ones that are really cute. I'm gonna make a coffee printed one, maybe a Chick-fil-A printed one, sublimating them onto the scrap t-shirts and then making a bunch of different scrunchies. So hope you guys do enjoy this. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. And I forgot to say, if you guys are wanting to learn to make a scrunchie or sublimate a scrunchie, I do have a detailed tutorial. If you guys want to watch that, I will link it in the description. I guess today is really just a vlog on how I take all these t-shirts and make a bunch of really cute scrunchies. I will have all these scrunchies on our Shopify. So if you guys are interested in any of these one of a kind scrunchies, be sure to go check out that link down below. And let's get started into our vlog. So first I'm going to find all the blemishes and then I'm going to cut all of the blemishes off and cut out the strips with this ruler. So this ruler is 24 inches by six inches, which is the perfect size for a scrunchie. I do like to make jumbo scrunchies. So I'm basically just gonna take this shirt. This shirt is laying down flat on this table. I'm gonna cut through both layers of the shirt front and back. You guys can see the seam right here. I'm just gonna be cutting all the seams off. So I'm just gonna move this ruler up go ahead and use this ruler as my stencil for the size of scrunchie that I'm cutting, which is 24 by six inches. And once again, I am cutting through both the front and the back of the t-shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out three scrunchies on this t-shirt. One, two, three. Scrunchies. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the good sides together and then we will sew the ends. So all the good sides are together. The ugly sides are on the outside. So right here and right here are the ugly sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my sewing machine and sew a seam right here, right here, and right here. Once again, this is going to be three scrunchies. One, two, three. Here's each of my strips. One, two, and three. And I have these two strips. One strip was from the front of the shirt, one was from the back. I have my good sides together and I'm just gonna make a nice little seam right across here. And I love these little cutters for trimming off all the threads. I will try to leave that down in the description if you guys want to order one of these. They're so much easier to use for trimming up little ends um, and that way you don't accidentally cut your fabric. So these are super nice. We have it all sewn together. I'm gonna go ahead and sew up the other ones. So I have all three of my strips here for each of the scrunchies. One side is the front of the t-shirt, the other side is the back of the t-shirt. Put good sides together and sewed my seam. And now I'm going to get on my phone and create my designs in PixArt. Then I'll print off the designs and then press them onto our polyester strips. I went ahead and sent my design over to the computer. You guys saw on the app that I did duplicate the image to make it a nice long strip. And I will be using the A sub sublimation paper using the 13 by 19 because it's long strips for the scrunchie. So yes, we are using 13 by 19 paper. And I showed you guys in the DIY scrunchie video that I printed this out to max the size of the 13 by 19 paper. And that is what we're gonna do with this strip again today. This one's not really a tutorial video. I'm just gonna quickly go through and show you guys the settings and just go ahead and print it off. So in the tutorial, I told you guys that I maxed this paper out, the 13 by 19. Since this image is more thin and long, I am going to be scaling it to 45%. We have my press preheated to 380 degrees. We're gonna be pressing at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. 
I'm gonna take my strip of fabric and I'm going to just tape it as close as I can to the edge right here and then pull it because you know you can only press one time with sublimation. Here is the print. And we're just gonna be using this strip right here to press onto the scrunchie. Take it over to your rotary mat and just cut off the edges. Just gonna be flipping this over onto this strip of fabric. And then we're gonna put a piece of butcher paper on top of that. Press it 380 degrees for 50 seconds. I have my next piece of butcher paper. And I'm just gonna lay it on top of all of that. And go ahead and press it 380 degrees for 50 seconds. I have the Chick-fil-A strip all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and design the Starbucks one and then we will design another one. Here's the next print that I designed and it's just a Starbucks one. Put the logo in this like little text box, Starbucks run and a few Starbucks drinks. And here's my next print. Next one, Cheetos and a little emoji that says, my loves. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch. I really appreciate you watching. Now that all the strips are printed, I am going to go ahead and sew them all up. Probably fast forward through most of that just so you guys don't have to watch me sew each one together. But if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. It does help our videos and YouTube will possibly push them out. If you guys do like it and subscribe and even comment, I really appreciate that support. Now let's go ahead and sew them together. And so here is my strip and I'm gonna be putting the good sides together like this and then I'm just going to, so it's gonna make a loop and I'm just gonna sew right across here, good sides together. And now the Starbucks one. Now that I have all three scrunchies sewn together, go ahead and grab our elastic and we're gonna cut nine inches per scrunchie. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna be using this little cutter to cut the elastic. This is super sharp and it works really well. I actually prefer to use this over scissors. Find a little hole.
All right, guys, and these scrunchies are all done. Selena was watching me make these and she really wants the hot Cheeto one. She actually wants all of them. I'm gonna only let her keep the hot Cheeto one, but I will be listing the Chick-fil-A one. Also, I will be listing the Starbucks one. So if you guys are interested in purchasing either of these scrunchies or if you guys are interested in silk scrunchies, I will be listing those as well. Right now, these are basically one of a kind. So if you buy one, you're probably the first one to buy it. And also it's probably gonna be the only one in the store. But I would actually love to make a lot more of these and sell these same two patterned ones and also even sell the Cheeto one. Plan on listing a whole bunch of other designs on our Shopify. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these one of a kind scrunchies, be sure to go check out our store link down below. It is on ugtshirts.com. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little like vlog or tutorial. It's kind of a vlog, but. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this and hit the little bell so you get notified when I post our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!